Stampede 235 here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and this is one of the most interesting and unique floor plans I've ever seen. Um, instead of a front bed, it has this front hybrid setup, which is uh, actually a pretty cool concept the more I think about it, because it gives you the bone, like the, the, the space of about a 30-foot camper all wrapped up in a 23-foot package. So, you know, you don't have to tow that extra space down the road. You don't have to tow that extra weight. You don't have to change lanes with this extra long trailer. It's just a little easier to manage. Um, this one has been used fairly well. Um, it, you know, I'm seeing some good things on it. I see some things that I, I wish were a little different, but all in all, it's all right. Um, got a nice max air fan up here on the roof so you can keep that vent open, uh, even in the rain to keep some good airflow going here. And I do like things like that, that, uh, slide out cover on there. Those things are not cheap and they can really help extend the life of an RV. I do see some signs here of active preventative maintenance because I don't really see uh, like this this has all been resealed here obviously but I don't really see where there's been a leak inside that slide so that tells me they were taking care of it before it was a problem and that's good the main entry door does look like it was left open in the rain once because there is a spot of water right next to the front door I'm gonna show you that I don't hide things um, that's just not the type of person I am if I see something I say something so uh, you know keep in mind I, I'm not necessarily sharing all sunshine and rainbows and ponies and kittens here. I'm also sharing good realistic information. Now, this is a really unique triple bunk and we're only looking at the bottom two bunks right here, uh, but this bunk can actually fold up against the wall to create a giant cargo space here, which is big enough to load bicycles and all of your outdoor stuff you're gonna need. I noticed these bottom two bunk mats look like they've never been used. They were just stacked on the top bunk, so I don't think they really use this too much like a bunkhouse by looking at it. Looking at uh, used campers like this, it's like uh, it's like CSI for campers, you know, you're a crime scene detective. And you're, just, you're trying to, uh, you know, reverse engineer and retrofit and figure out exactly how this was used and what and why, and by and large, I've learned to be pretty good at it, just with a lot of experience. Big awning on here too you really can't put any larger of an awning on this camper so the awning is probably 16 18 feet something in that range um one thing i do want to point out i'm going to walk in and turn around for you here right in front of the entry door you can see the discoloration on the floor right there that indicates that there is and has been uh, a, a water penetration right there but the seals all look good so i think this door was just left open now that uh, I've got the bunk mats down. I pick the bunk mats up. It does trickle through about six inches past this wall, and it is a little soft right there, but I can still stand on it, so it's not bad. I'm about a 200 pound 6'3 type guy. I'm a bigger person, and it's still holding my weight, but it's there, and you deserve to know about it. Again, I will not hide stuff from folks. If I see a defect, I will tell you about it so that you understand what you're looking at. So, do I, I you know, I'm not happy that's there, but keep in mind, we're not going to lie about it. You can buy with confidence from us. And at the same time, that's also one of the reasons this thing is discounted so heavily. We take that stuff into account when we price these out. Um, your uh, sofa here doesn't look like it was used too, uh, too awful much. By and large, it's nice and plush still. The dinette was definitely used as the primary seating space. I gotta, I'm not so sure this was really uh, owned and used too much by a family looking at it so much as maybe a uh, uh, maybe one kid or something like that. Uh, I've been wrong before, though. I've been, I've been, I've been very wrong on a couple of these. I had somebody who watched uh, the video I did on their trade-in and called me, wanting to know what kind of what kind of stories I was fabricating. So this is just my impression from what I see, and I see a lot of these. Again, there is a Max Air cover over the top of this right here, so you can leave this vent open in the rain. I did think it was interesting, and I don't know if it's aftermarket or not, but that is not like a normal hybrid bunk. That's an actual mattress. Somebody put an actual mattress up there, so it is pretty darn nice. You've got a lot nicer sleeping space there than you normally would. Uh, you can throw your TV over here for entertainment purposes. You've got good drawer space below. So even up front here, you do have good storage. There's obviously storage below the dinette benches as well. Um, you know, even overhead in here, over the sofa, lots of extra storage space. Um, full refrigerator and freezer, too. A lot of... Um, hybrids like this will have a five cubic foot fridge and freezer which is where the freezer is actually just stuffed inside the refrigerator so now we have a separate fridge and freezer here which is really nice also I noticed central air that is very 
very uncommon for a 23 foot ultralight or hybrid to have central AC. So that's a very cool thing. Lots of storage down here. The kitchen, although it doesn't look large, has a lot of pack away space. You can really plug stuff in there. Not to mention the fact that right beside the kitchen, you've got this extra closet or pantry or wardrobe or whatever you want for it. This can be. And uh, the, uh, the top drawer here is pretty good. The bottom drawer looks like it's definitely been um, worked pretty hard. They had some heavy stuff in there, and it looks like maybe lots of it. So again, remember, I am being very fair when we go through these. So you do have a good idea what we're looking at when you get here. I do like the full sink cover, though. And it, it you notice it doesn't, I mean, you have to pick the thing up to get it to move. So it's, it's, uh, it's fitted well and can serve as actual countertop space. A lot of times, sink covers don't really get that job done very well. So I was telling you earlier how this has like a triple, high, uh, triple bunk system in the back. Here you go. It's, it's a little different, but what's cool is each space actually gets its own little headboard. So each person who's sleeping up here has an, their own spot to put a bag, their own spot to uh, um, you know keep uh, knickknacks and alarm clocks and phones and all that stuff. Um, you know, I, I, I like seeing that stuff. That's, that's very nice because when you have uh, multiple kids like this, they need their own little independent spaces, and this floor plan can get that done. Um, at the time of this filming, we've owned this camper for about five minutes, haven't cleaned it, probably will. Although it, that's really subject to, uh, you know, the uh, sales demands that we have going on right now. Normally, we like to have every single thing fully detailed before we bring it out here. This season, we've been setting sales records every single month, so we've had to clean things as they sell. So keep in mind, if you come to look at this one and it hasn't yet been gone through, we're getting there. It's just a matter of taking care of the all the commitments that we're making. So all in all... Not bad. That's my impression of this one. It's not bad. There's a couple things that could be better, but really the stuff that really counts, your big appliances, the fact that it doesn't really have any leaks that I can detect or anything like that, um, you know, this one's not bad. So if you're, say, like a first-time camper or you're looking to get out of a pop-up, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect for you. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hey, RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.